everybody here? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, act like uh, UCF didn't have a lot to do. They, they played really well and got a good ball club and played smart. You know, they did a good job with the win. End of the win, discovered they were having success running it, and they st stuck with their running game. And the first time we had somebody really run the ball effectively on us all season. Uh, you know, but I just disappointed. I don't think we played our best game. You know, we had a bunch of drops, and, you know, there was uh, two or three times where, uh, you know, we, we just didn't quite get them stopped on third down or fourth down. Uh, so, uh, you know, when you play a quality team like UCF, you gotta, you gotta play well. And I think we played really hard. I, I complimented the guys on how hard they played because they, they really played hard. They, they, they did, and, and they were into it on the sideline for, you know, 60 minutes. But uh, we didn't get the job done. Any questions? Yeah, he got us early. You know, he's got great speed. You know the. I'd do it over again. I would have had our fastest guy play quarterback and scout team all week. You know, he does a good job of pulling it. We had leverage on him, but not enough leverage. You know, and he, he must have, there's probably uh, five or six plays in the first half where we had a play and he just outran us to the outside with, with you know, we were, we were assignment sound, but we needed to have about another two yards of leverage, you know, and we, we did a better job of that in the second half. They hurt us a little more with inside run game in the second half with the back. But uh, yeah, you're right. He had some good runs. A lot more penalties than most of the other games. Yeah, you know, we, uh, you know, just uh, uh, tough with those officials with, uh, you know, pass interference calls. It's just tough, you know. They're, you know, they're both, you know, kind of beating on each other on, on the outside. And it's a, a, a very subjective call. And sometimes, you know, he's just tough. There's one over by us. I thought he had pretty good uh, coverage. But, they, you know, you get a penalty on it. And a few times later, it looked like we kind of did the same thing. And they didn't call it, you know. So it's just it's a tough call. I, I That's just how the game is now with everybody playing press coverage and being physical out there on the perimeter and and uh, those kind of things. But, uh yeah, we had way too many penalties, and uh, you know we've done a nice job of staying away from penalties all season. We need need to do a better job of that. You know, it was on the other sideline, so I didn't see it. You know, they, uh, I think that was their get out of jail play. You know, to throw that ball to that guy down the sideline because we had the run play. Uh, you know, but uh, called interference on it. So I didn't really get a good look at it. A career game for Gill today on the defensive side of the ball. He had nine tackles. What did you see out of him? He did a nice job. He really did. And he, he, he made the adjustment in the second half of, of, you know, not squeezing quite as much. So if the Plumley pulled it, he could still make the play on the quarterback. Uh, but he's uh, he's been very steady for us this season. He's done a nice job. Yeah, they did a good job. They were, you know, we, some missed tackles, some missed fits. Uh, there's a couple plays they ran that were a little different than what they hadn't done it this year, which you're always going to get. We made some adjustments on it at halftime and stopped them in the second half. But uh, yeah, they're, 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 they do a good job running. We knew that coming in here that we're going to have to stop the run, and we had a tough time doing it today. Oh. Probably not as much, you know. We've, we've uh, you know, but there's always there's always a different path to winning a game, you know. And and uh, this path was a little bit different than what we've had so far this season, uh, you know. But when you play a quality team like that, you got to play good on all three sides, and and we did at times. There's we did some really good things, especially in the second half defensively, and some good things uh, offensively. And there were just some critical mistakes, you know, whether it's play calls or execution or, you know, or whatever the case may be, you know, we, we just know we can play better than that, you know, and, and again, I don't want to, you know, UCF's got a good squad, <laughs> they're a good, good team, and to beat them, you got to play really well, and I, I don't know if that was our best game, but, uh, uh, 
you know, luckily it's nothing the last game of the season. We had some more games to play. I don't think so, no, no. It was different with the win, but once they uh, determined they were going to run it, you know, at first I thought maybe they're going to try to do a little bit more when they're going into the wind, but they were, they were equally doing it both ways, you know, I thought. And so, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it had that much impact. Uh, you know, probably a little more of the kicking game. You know, I don't know if we've had a practice this year, and we try to do that whenever we have big time wind. You know, we kind of shift our practice schedule up where we kick into the wind, punt into the wind, do those kind of things. We just don't get it very much. But it was windy down there, but I, I don't think it had a, a great impact. Yeah, I sure hope so. That's what I told our guys. You know, we got we got a, we got a short week, and we got to we got to flush this down the toilet. And we got to move on. You know, there's no doubt about it. It's just what you got to do. And uh, you know, and SMU's a really good squad. I I don't know how they did today. They won, and you know, they're a good good team. And and uh, we're gonna have to, you know, in this short week, and uh, we're gonna have to, you know, really put it together quickly. You know, I'm gonna have to look at it. I don't know if we devoted as much to the run game in the second half. I don't. I don't think we we attempted as many runs in the second half. But uh, you know, that's kind of a byproduct of getting behind. You know, but uh, well, I'll have to look at that. That's one. Uh, Coach, speaking of the running game, we, it seemed that Ty J Spears was effective in, in the first half. We didn't see him much. I don't recall seeing him at all in the second half. Was there a reason we didn't see him? Uh, a little bit banged up. You know, and I think he'll be all right. You know, we were, he didn't practice a ton this week, but he came out and played really well. And, and, and we're fortunate. We got three good backs. I thought uh, Shotty Clayton had some good runs. I thought that was a really nice run down there on the goal line by Iverson Cel Celestine. So we're going to play all three of them, you know, and, and uh, you know, you get the hot hand, you, you're going to play that guy a little bit more. Pretty good. Yeah, good. Thank you. It always uh, makes it a little bit tougher when you know a good squad like UCF gets up on you. Uh, <clears throat> we still got to play with the same intensity though that we start the game with. Uh, up 40, down 40, whatever it is, we got to keep the same intensity. But yeah, it does make it a little bit tougher. Since you're one of the better teams in Absolutely. Um, just want to know every week we are, you know, already focused on the next one. You know, you can't can't sit and dwell on this for too long when you've got these opportunities presented in front of you like this. Uh, just get back to work as soon as we can and focus on going one to know this next week. You guys feel okay at halftime because they really dominated the first half and you were only down ten. It could have been a lot more than that. What was the what was the mindset going into the second half where you guys gave yourself a chance? And we were. We were in the game the whole time, you know. Uh, is it the game never got away from us, and you know, it was a one-score game at the end of it. Uh, so we just felt from from start to finish we had a chance in this game, and you know, it didn't go our way. But at halftime, we were still still in the game. I got the most confidence in all 100 guys on this team. Uh, any guy, any position, I've got 100% confidence in all of them and all my teammates. So, yes, yes, indeed. And just 
love how he works, and I love how he uh, he just puts his body on the line for the team every week, and it, it's inspiring to know that even when he's not 100%, he, he can go like that. And knowing that we've got two other guys, three other guys who can, you know, also produce like that, it's, it's really inspiring. Do you feel like it'll be easy to bounce with the short week? Yeah, it is every week, win or loss, you know, we all we know is to come back to work, come back to work the next week, the next day, got to come back to work. So I think it'll be easy to flush this down the drain and do what we do and go to work. All good. Thank you, guys. Um, a lot of motions, you know, they uh, play with your eyes a lot. Uh, they had a lot of speed on the outside as well with the jet sweeps and, and stuff as well. And uh, Pumley, you know, he's a, he's a great quarterback, man. He's a great runner, great athlete. And uh, we just got to find a way to get him on the ground. Uh, I think Pumley's speed was probably the – the biggest thing, uh, you know, it's uh, hard to practice for something like that. And uh, he did a, he did a great job out there. How frustrating was it? Because you all haven't had anybody run like that. What's it like to play defense against the offenses that's around you? Uh, it's tough. You know, we pride ourselves on stopping the run. You know, that's the first thing we want to do. And, uh, I mean, it's just something we got to get back to and work on it as well. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think he fumbled, but I mean, the referee reviewed it. They said he didn't fumble. We got to come back and, uh, you know, we got to play the next drive, you know, try to stop him then. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just hit him. <laughs> Uh, linebacker, uh, usually, you know, they like to run out of that formation. Um, we saw them, uh, I saw when he took off kind of deep, I was like, hey, like he about to throw it. And I looked and I saw Pumley, I was like, okay, that's a, that's a smart move. You know, he's a, he's a faster guy. And uh, just hope for a P.I., really just chuck it up, hope for a P.I. Dorian, on that drive, um, after that DPI, I think they converted four third downs. I know you guys wanted to be off the field and wanted to, Yes, sir. We had uh, we need to create uh, more tackle for losses, uh, force you know passing situations. Uh, those guys they did a great job up front. Their front seven, you know, uh, we gotta we gotta improve in our front seven as well. Linebackers, D line, we all gotta improve. Stop the push. Yeah, I would say he one of the faster ones. Yeah. I mean, you got to flush this one down the drain. You know, uh, we're still in a pretty good position, you know, to accomplish our goal. But to accomplish our goal, we got to go one and know every week. And um, that's something, you know, everybody vo vocaling in the locker room. And I think everybody's doing a great job, you know, picking our heads up and, uh, you know, coming tomorrow ready to get after it. Uh, you know, I'm just proud of our guys, man. You know, they never gave up from, you know, the starters to, you know, uh, the hype squad, man. And everybody did a great job, you know, never giving up, keeping faith. And, uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, we got to come out here and stop the run in the next few weeks, you know, do a great job on defense. You know, we win, we do great on defense. So uh, we love to get some more turnovers and play better for sure. Right on.
because the guy the guy was able to punch it out. That was two. That yeah, that was. Chrissy, you okay? Get back. Yeah, find my way. Are you out here? Fourteen with the draw. Fourteen with the draw. Yeah, stayed a free head. That's One of, them, one of them was a bad pass, but two of them. got hit out of bounds. Yeah. The one, the, the, the end of it was good. But that was a, it was a soft pass right into the bad pass. I know it was only seven. Everybody probably but Pratt and Louis. Pratt's in the shower. Two players. Also did not know Pratt's in the corner out there. Five players. No, not me, right? Yeah, the offensive line is probably two of the worst. Is someone down on the offensive line? Pratt is two of the worst. You don't even have to win both, probably. You might, but one team could beat Cincinnati, and it may or may not have to be like one of those kind of runs. It's hard to say. It's just a lot. I'm going to assume that the AAC championship will be the Pounce House. Well, unless they lose a game here. They yeah. could have beaten SMU, Cincinnati, and Tulane to get here. They could have still stayed up and they played Bowie and I believe Temple. Yeah, they all play Bowie. Well, so they almost beat Notre Dame. Maybe, statistically, maybe has by far the best run defense. Conference. I don't know how legit that is, but it's like not even close to how much that ends the UCF is a running team. I, I actually believe that because it's an AB thing. Yeah. They run a triple option. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. 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 Uh, just had to make plays when the opportunity was there. Um, you know, it, it just didn't work out. Uh, Got to make some better throws. You know, I put a lot of that on myself. Um, you know, can't get behind the sticks. Just got to do a better job of, you know, making plays when the opportunity is there. Uh, you hit six uh, straight completions in that final drive. What, what do you think went right there? Went right? Yeah, on the final drive. Uh, I mean, we just uh, we we got separation, uh, delivered a good ball. Offensive line did a good job holding up, and you know we we made plays in those opportunities. Yeah, I mean, hundred percent. Um, you know, in, in these type of games, um, you know, those little details are going to be the keys to victory. Um, you know, whether it was a drop ball, missed pass, you know, penalties, you know, it's all the small details that, you know, you don't necessarily see, but, you know, that's what makes a difference in the game. And, you know, sometimes they come at bad times. Um, so it's just the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just got to stay locked in. Um, you know, can't let this affect us. Um, got to flush it all down the toilet tonight. Um, come in tomorrow, get some work in, and then uh, focus on Thursday. And just want to know each week. I mean, they had a good pass rush. Uh, we knew that from the start. Um, and they got some good dudes on their D line. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't think we tried to change too much up. You know, what was there was there, and you know that's. Like, like I said, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. He, he's just a, he's a dude. Um, you know, you guys have seen it, you know, since he's been here. Um, total impact player for us, you know, really gets things going. Um, 
So we, we got to get him healthy and get him go back going. Um, so, and I got a lot, got a lot of good running backs um, that you know do a lot for us. Um, but we got to get him back healthy, and I know you guys see what he does on the field. So. Yeah, I mean, second half we we just had to come out and you know execute, and you know everything was still on the table. Um, we got the ball first. Uh, we didn't we didn't go down and drive that that first drive. Um, we got the ball, um, but you know I, I don't think anybody had their heads down or anything. You know the, the game was right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one hundred percent gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, I think we got a lot of guys that can do that, uh, especially Deuce Watts, um, especially on that that first touchdown pass to him. You know, it was third down call, and you know, put the keys in his hands, let him go make a play, and he made it. Awesome. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.